Hello my fabulous Pisces, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot here to do a weekly reading. So this is a general reading for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Pisces and as a general reading the messages are not going to resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings as well. It is a weekly reading for June 8th through to the 14th and for today's reading I'm using the Tarot Grand Luxe. I've used it for the weekly card and I'm also reading the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for the week for you Pisces. And I've clarified the weekly card with an Archangel Power Tarot card and as usual I have pulled an Animal Speak rune to finish up the reading. So Pisces, let's see what we have for this week. Ooh, okay, so you have the Tower. But it's being clarified by the Four of Ariel. Okay, so that's a nice energy. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck you have the Three of Coins. Okay. So you're working hard, Pisces. And your Animal Speak rune is the Owl. Okay, so Pisces, just give me one moment here. So your overall energy for the week is the Three of Coins. And the Three of Coins, this represents, um, it represents skilled work, um, craftsmanship, um, quality work. It can sometimes represent collaboration, teamwork as well. But with this particular deck, you see this individual's working um, on his own. And you can see in that he's, he's really like, he's already, hold on, let me just get that in the camera. Okay, so he's created these pentacles here and he's got the plans for this building here. Now this building here is going to take that teamwork and collaboration, but with these pentacles here, he's working by himself. He's really um, putting a lot of effort and craftsmanship and skill into creating these coins here, these three coins. And so this can represent you this week um, being very proficient in what you do. And I mean, it is a card of also hard work, but it's a labor of love. He's really enjoying what he's doing. He's focusing so intently on what he's doing because he's enjoying it. And there's a pride and satisfaction in the process and the end result. So it's also about you taking pride in your work this week and you doing that. Um, but then you have the Tower card. And the Tower card is not... It, it's a card of change. Unwanted change usually. Um, an unexpected change. Unexpected upheaval coming into your life. It can be in any area of your life. So it could be money, career, finance, it could be health, it could be um, your, your home relationships as well. Um, so it could even be friendships as well. But it's an unexpected change or an unex... So something unexpected, um, just be prepared for some, something unexpected this week to come up. And, but it's being clarified by the Four of Ariel, which is, this is a card about when you give, you also receive. And um, so it's the reciprocity and understanding that reciprocity of, of you know, what, whatever you put out there, you get back. So if you've put in hard work and, and you, your work is ethical and, and uh, it's, it's done, um, to benefit not only you but others then you get that back and I'm bringing that up because of this tower card here and this unexpected change so you know if if your efforts have been in all areas of your life have been been um, with good intentions then this tower is not going to affect you so extremely or negative or negatively or impact you as negatively. It will just be a, you know, like more represent more of a turning point for you. Um, the four of Ariel can also be about you being resistant to change. And it can also be you, you need to be mindful of how you're spending money as well. So for example, are you over, spending or are you hoarding because again this is that message of when you give you also receive so if you if you're holding on too tightly to your money then it kind of cuts off that that law of attraction of um, continued money coming to you but when you're 
Yeah, but if you overspend as well, then you're kind of di diminishing your resources. So do watch your spending habits this week. Um, that is one key thing with that four of Ariel. But this can also represent you being resistant to change. And the tower is all about change. So I'm really feeling like this is um, just to be mindful of that Pisces. Because the tower happens when something in your life is not built on a stable foundation. Um, because if it's built on a stable foundation, then it doesn't matter if the lightning strikes it, that structure will stay and is solid. Um, but in this case, the lightning is coming in, it's hitting the tower, the waves are crashing in, it's going to take this whole building out. And why was it able to do that? Because it wasn't built on a stable foundation. So this can relate to your ideologies, your beliefs, your values. It can relate to um, anything that you've done in your life. If you've taken shortcuts in any, in any area of your life, then that could be where this change is coming in. But rather than resist it, um, with this four of Ariel here, and it's about being when you give, you also receive, it's about you accepting the changes. Because the other thing about the tower, and this is the one thing I like about the tower, is you experience the tower energy because there's a needed change. So that upheaval happens because it's clearing out energy that's no longer serving you, no longer of value to you, to so you can build something bigger, better, stronger and something that serves you much better. And so I'm, I'm really, I really feel like for you Pisces that, that continue with your working hard and focusing on that, but also be open and receptive to change this week. And I really feel like that really is that key messaging in here with that tower and that four of Ariel for you. And then you also have the owl as your animal speaker. And the owl is, it represents spirit and spirit energy. Um, because owls, ha they have in really good eyesight and they have really good hearing as well. Um, they, they can detect the most subtlest of movements with the least amount of light. And their hearing is just as acute as their sight. So because of this, it's indicating that, that, um, that, that, your instincts and impressions that you get from others right now are right on point Pisces. Um, so you almost have like a mediumistic type of abilities and psychic abilities around you. Like you, you really have that strong intuition this week. And um, Scorpio, one of your sister signs, really had that kind of energy as well, where it was all about intuition and trusting intuition. Um, so. You could be getting guidance through your dreams right now. So be make sure you're paying attention to your dreams. You might also be experiencing a lot of lucid dreaming that could be increasing and prophetic type of dreams in the next few weeks. This, uh, this energy does linger for a couple of weeks. Uh, the other thing is, is you may also be picking up on subtleties that you may not have noticed before. So for example, when you're, when you're communicating with others, you could hear undercurrents in their voices that you weren't picking up on before. Pay attention to that because that secrets this week could be uncovered um, because you're able to tap into that and pick up on those subtleties that you weren't able to before. But the owl also tells you that and lets you know, Pisces, that um, help and guidance are here and are available um, to you if you need it. Um, but it's still up to you and you still have free will to act upon that guidance and those choices that are brought to you, Pisces. This concludes your reading for the week of June 8th through to the 14th. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I will see you next week. Take care.